Hello everyone and Happy Easter! Remember, I've been wishing you Happy Easter every single day to remind you that Easter isn't celebrated just for one day, but for eight days an octave. So from Sunday, Easter Sunday, or sometimes it's called Sunday of the Resurrection, all the way to what used to be called Low Sunday, but now we call it Mercy Sunday, um, those eight days form the great feast of Easter. So we can still legitimately and appropriately greet each other with the term Happy Easter. Today we're going to come to the last of the four ways, four topics that we can use in our personal prayer life. Remember ACTS here at St. Louis and at St. Francis uh, refers to the Acts ministry, which is very, very life-giving ministry in our parishes. But when it comes to prayer, Acts signifies those four topics for prayer. Adoration, contrition, thanksgiving, and supplication. And we've talked about beginning from the bottom since adoration is considered the highest form of prayer. So we've talked about supplication, speaking to the Lord about our needs. We've talked to the Lord about thanksgiving, thanking God for the blessings we've already received, for the people and the gifts and talents. All that we've been given, we believe, are blessings from God. And yesterday we talked about contrition. We talked about the importance of being sorrowful for our sins and seeking God's forgiveness. And then the part of that is trying to make a plan to address those temptations when they come to us. And today the last, which is the highest form of prayer, and that is adoration. Now, like the act of contrition, we might have a concept as soon as you hear the word contrition. And when we hear adoration, you may be thinking of when the Blessed Sacrament is placed in the receptacle to show everyone called the monstrance, which comes from the Latin word monstrare, to show. So the Blessed Sacrament is the beautiful monstrance. And we have that every Sunday at uh, St. Louis uh, after the Masses. And the chapel, both at St. Francis and St. Louis, both chapels are available for taking the time to adore the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. But adoration basically means praising God, glorifying God. Why? Well, for so many reasons. Because God is all-knowing. God is all-powerful. God is all-holy. And the gifts especially that He has given us is His very life, His own Son's precious body and blood, soul and divinity in the Eucharist. And that's why adoration and the Eucharist are so closely connected. But we can adore God in many different ways. And one that I'd like to suggest for your personal prayer, you don't have to be in the church, you don't have to be in front of the Blessed Sacrament, and that is one of the most beautiful of all prayers, the Rosary. Now, when some people think of the rosary, they think, oh, I can't, that's too long, it's too complicated. It doesn't have to be. Now, remember, we're taking first steps. So what I'd like to suggest is that you just pray one decade of the rosary, which includes an Our Father, ten Hail Marys, and the Glory Be. And if you don't remember or know those prayers, you can Google it. You can Google anything, but you can Google it. And then the rosary has five of those decades, and that comprises the whole of the rosary. But I'd like you just to take one. And there are, for each day of the week, mysteries, five mysteries of our Lord's life that we can think about. So if you took one of those mysteries and prayed the Our Father, the Ten Hail Marys, and the Glory Be, and if you did that, thinking of the mystery, being conscious of it, letting it seep into your consciousness and in your imagination, you will have prayed one of the great, great prayers of adoration. Now here's what I'd like you to remember as we conclude this segment of our discussion on prayer. I told you 10 minutes. Now, if you were to take 10 minutes and you were to take the first minute in silent, quiet, 
putting yourself in the presence of God, listening first for the sound of silence. You've got nine minutes. Now you know I'm fond of eight minutes. So look at those four subjects. Adoration, contrition, thanksgiving, supplication. If you were to just take two minutes for each one of those subjects, you've already done your ten. And I guarantee you, if you really took the time to reflect on either of those, one of those, you may surprise yourself. You may look at your watch and say, oh my gosh, I prayed more than 10 minutes. Why? Because I've taken a structure and I've begun to implement it in my life. Now there's one last topic for personal prayer that we're going to talk about tomorrow. And let me conclude, as I always have, with the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, may He come upon you and those you love forever and ever.